a lot of people are talking about what effect the NFL is going to have on her fan base. But I think it's it's more interesting talking about what her fan base is going to do to the NFL over the coming weeks here, right? Because they're rabid and they hyper analyze everything. And um, I'm curious that uh, first of all, right? This is my tweet saying like like this is a this is a sigh up to get Swifties to watch football. Then as we go here, right? We have like graphics of of Swifties getting football explained to them, and I'm like, okay, like kind of be expected, you know? Travis Kelsey jersey selling 400 percent more. It's 300 thousand Instagram followers from it. Um, NFL doing all this silly stuff, but then we, we get weird. Right. And then we have, you know, Swifties doing, uh, uh, crazy. What is this called? Astrology charts, trying to figure out all this stuff. And this is where I'm getting, okay. So what happens when, when this type of stuff is now entering into the NFL and we're getting like spells casted on Travis Kelsey because of something going on with the Taylor Swift relationship. Also, Eventually, they're probably going to break up just based off of, you know. They're not lasting. I was going to say, I'd love to say this, you know, Travis Kelsey is the one for Taylor. I'd I'd love to say that. Um, But, you know, I'm not I'm not entirely sure that's the case. Um, So when they do break up, what is going to be the response? Right. (laughs) I'm very curious on what's going to happen there. Also, really quick, you know, Fox pretty much flexed out of the uh, the Bears Chiefs game because of um, how much of a blowout it was. There was one demographic that saw a spike in the amount of people watching, and this gets cut off a little bit here, but there was an 8.1% spike in the amount of uh, women in the 12 to 17 age range that were watching that game. Uh, probably not a coincidence there. So the, I mean, the Swifty bizarre, effect dude. is real. She's... It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, where do we draw the line with this? Like... It's like a cult. It's like a takeover. I don't even know if it's like a cult. I'd say it definitively is one. Um, I mean, here my but the biggest thing about it is obviously she's going to bring new eyes to football, and Travis Kelsey's going to get all kinds of new fame and and fortune just by being mentioned in the same sentence as her. Uh, she's also going to get a little bit of fans come her way through Kelsey, not nearly the same extent. Um, but my whole thing is. I don't, I don't think they're a good couple. They look awkward. I know they're early on, but they don't look right. She's kind of dorky. He doesn't, his personality seems to not really like match what she is. I mean, I don't obviously know them, but for what we've seen in videos and documentaries and how she performs, how he performs on the field and stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, the video of them walking out of the stadium, they're not holding hands. Their hands are literally both down at their sides. It's not like they're holding anything, and they're just not holding hands. They're not touching each other. They're oh, not really. I thought they were holding hands in that video. But maybe I'm wrong. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess like you know the brand of I think from the brand of football that Kelsey plays, him being a tight end, him playing for the Chiefs, like that kind of I feel like goes with the whole like you know like I I don't know if Kansas city likes to call itself like Southern. Cause I guess it isn't, it's more like middle America, but like based off of that and maybe Taylor Swift's kind of demographic, I could kind of see some crossover there. Them maybe. as people though, not as much, right? Dude, I'm- Talk about shooting your shot though, John <laughs> guys on a podcast, like me and you are right now with his brother and just casually mentions the fact that he's going to this Taylor Swift concert. He wants to make her like a freaking bracelet or something and, and get her, you know, basically ask her out and get her number. He just mentions this casually on their podcast and somehow it gets back to her clearly and it comes to fruition. The guy's dating her. Like, I mean, if I just mention that I want to get with Sydney Sweeney on this podcast, is that just going to happen overnight? Is that how these things work? Like, I mean, talk about shooting your shot well, and hitting I, your I shot from full court. He's, he's the best tight end. In, 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 yeah, but dude, she's but... like, she's Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know. Tom Brady kind of was able to to punch above his weight class. Best quarterback's too. different. Best court if and seven time Super Bowl champ and all that stuff. I mean, I don't know, dude. I mean, I get big time athletes are obviously some of the top Bowl bachelors team. in the world. I, I mean, it's just crazy how he did it. It's not like he bumped into her at a party or he knew right. somebody. Like he was going to his her concert like a freaking fan. And he's just like, oh, I hope maybe the girl I'm going to pay three thousand dollars for a ticket to see sees this clip of me talking about how I think she's cute and I want to give her a bracelet and ask her out. I wonder if he was close enough where she could 
pick him out in the crowd because of how tall and large he is. I, I, I highly doubt it, dude. Honestly, there. you know how many people are at those? Like, I don't. Yeah, but like I, you, because I think he said fun. he said that that she he didn't get to meet her. He was bummed. He didn't get to meet her at the concert. He wanted to. He had this whole plan, and that's what he said to Jason, his brother, on the pod. And then that clip got absolutely blown up and right. clearly got back to her. And one way or another, they're they're dating. I mean, it's ins- it, that's crazy to me. That that how it actually happened is crazy. I get he's a superstar, but she's like a different level of stardom than I'm, than I'm- that curious the ripple effect that this story is going to have for the coming weeks like that's what i like and and again like the effect that the swift fan base is going to have on the nfl is what's more interesting to me because like the i'm trying to imagine in my head like the kind of backlash that's gonna occur like things that swift fans do you know in relation to kelsey if there's any drama like i'm just imagining all of that in my head um and also how how mad do you think mahomes wife is (laughs) yeah i mean she sucks the whole like the whole you know she's the show pat's the show no longer dude when taylor shows up at the game complete takeover i mean you gotta know your place i would hope jackson time. mahomes is probably like oh shit you know like you're 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 forgotten about you're a nobody well, the more that they're out of the picture the better for um... i i hate both of them yeah, his I wife mean, and his brother. I terrible. hate Jackson a whole lot more. I, I, his wife's just annoying. She didn't do anything wrong. I think Jackson's just, like just straight up a bad person. Yeah, you can oh. hate people for being annoying, though. I mean, I mean, yeah, but she's but really that's why you hate me. So I get it. But, you know, um, but yeah, I'm just I'm just I'm genuinely curious. And also the breakup song, right? When it, whenever that breakup does occur, like, are, are we going to get because that's going to have a very different vibe to it than, you know, pretty much all of her other breakup songs that she has. And it's probably going to be hard to kind of like, you know, disguise who she's talking about through metaphor and stuff, you, you know, like, oh, I, God, you know, I don't know if Travis realizes how many 14 to 28 year old girls are going to absolutely despise him when they break up. And how this that is, might change his life. He's he's signing up for. He doesn't know what he's getting into. He's crossing the Rubicon. I think sure. he. he I think he. Crossed the Rubicon. I think he. I think he's making a mistake. I really. <laughs> I think he's it's, making a mistake. Only time will tell. But I'm. I'm in the same boat as you. 